Disney star Demi Lovato has admitted she has no regrets as she looks back on her painful journey while discussing her near-fatal overdose. The actress who was catapulted to fame as a child suffered an almost fatal overdose in June 2018 which resulted in her being left with permanent brain damage after suffering three strokes and a heart at Demi, now 28 has laid her soul bare about the traumatic incident in a YouTube documentary titled Demi Lovato, Dancing with the Death. After being rushed to Cedars City Hospital in Los Angeles, medics predicted that the singer had between 5 to 10 minutes left to serve. Reflecting on the past, Demi has revealed that she is proud of the journey she has been speaking to people. The skyscraper songstress said, everything had to happen in order for me to learn the lessons. It was a painful journey, and I look back and sometimes I get sad when I think of the pain that I had to endure to overcome what I have. I'm so proud of the person I am today and I'm so proud that people get to see it in this documentary and I couldn't be more grateful that I had someone by my side. The former X Factor USA judge has no intentions to dilute the revelations in her documentary, saying, I wanted to reveal it all for my fans and say this is who I am and this is where I'm at today and this is the journey that got me here, and if it helps you then I hope that it can because that was ultimately my purpose in putting this out. While the near-fatal incident was three years ago, she still lives with the repercussions on a daily basis, telling the documentary's Television Critics Association that she can no longer drive. I was left with brain damage, and I still deal with the effects of that today. I don't drive a car, because I have blind spots on my... For a long time, I had a really hard time reading. Reading was a big deal when I was able to read out of the book which was two months later because my vision that she went on to end. I had crossed a line that I had never crossed before. I had three strokes. I had a heart attack. My doctor said that I had five to ten more minutes to live. The documentary that will be released via YouTube on March 23rd will also share the details of her role in romance to Max Aaron, who she became engaged to after just five months of day. If you or anybody you know has been affected by this story, you can visit Frank for free support, as well as help finding a local You can call them on 0300-123-6600 or visit their website.